bullets fly in a popular Bay Area parking garage, and the whole thing is caught on camera. The extreme measures a security guard took that put him behind bars. Good evening. A security guard in jail tonight after a confrontation with two people inside a parking garage. I'm Katie McCall in tonight for Serena. And I'm John Sable. This happened early this morning inside the Palm Avenue garage in Ybor City. ABC Action News reporter Kara Mashik is live there tonight with what happened and the new legal action that might be taken in this case. Kara? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. The two guys who were in the center of all of this really admittedly were doing something they probably shouldn't have been. But when the security guard confronted them, things escalated very quickly. And now it's that security guard, not the two other men, who is in deep trouble. And the company that he works for could be in hot water, too. Kevin Witcher and Chris Pino were heading back to their car in this Ybor City parking garage early Sunday morning when a security guard blocked them in after spotting the two urinating inside the garage. That's when Pino started rolling on his cell phone camera. Not stop me from doing, from moving your car from behind my vehicle unless you call the cops. Witcher and Pino continue to insist the security guard call police. Instead, the guard, 31-year-old Everway Farkerson, stood firm. But when Witcher tried to move the security golf cart himself, Farkerson pushed Witcher. Hey, he has a gun. Farkerson then threw a punch and radioed someone before pushing the camera out of Pino's hand. Seconds later, you can hear four gunshots. Witcher and Pino ran, then called for help. Tampa police arresting Farkerson, charging him with aggravated assault with a firearm and battery. Police say he also went into the victim's car and removed shell casings from the scene. So he's also charged with burglary and tampering with evidence. Now, now, Farkerson was employed by a company called Iron Eagle Security, and we reached out to them tonight but have not heard any response or comment about this particular situation. We are told by both the families of the victims that they're actually talking to attorneys and considering filing suit against a security company for what happened here. Reporting live in Ybor City, Karamashik, ABC Action News.